stopped breathing and they rushed her to the ICU. I thought my life ended. I, I didn't know what was going on. Everything just like turned black. Their immediate response is to think naturally that my child is going to have to live in an intensive care unit. Well, what kind of a life is that? You know, the feeling is my child doesn't have a future at all. I think yes. You can feel a bit sad. I mean, I don't have another answer for that. Yeah. My department deals with all of those patients who are on chronic ventilation. A lot of these patients are patients who are paralyzed. The reason why they're on ventilation is because they've got muscle weakness, they can't breathe by themselves, so they're on ventilation from the time that they were born, many of them. All the children, they have the right to be children. And even if they are handicapped, even if they are a ventilator, even if there is something wrong with them, they still have the right to be children. The goal really is to enable the children to return home to their natural environments and to integrate into society and into their family. Uh, children do not develop in hospitals, it doesn't matter how many treatments you give them. Children develop by being at home, by being in school, with their friends, with their family. We are teaching them over here how they can take a ventilated kid to their home, they can take them to the school, they can take them to the pool, they can take them everywhere. So that's the reason why I'm here. We were very happy to find out that we were able to go home. We are able to go home and we actually did make it home. So that was a, a good thing. I remember the day we went home, it was like, you know, well, this this life of living in this like haze of what's going on is finally over. You know, we're home, I have my family with me again, all my kids in one, in one little apartment that we live in over here, which is beautiful and it's just, it was amazing. The ventilator helps her at night to uh, to relax and to, to sleep deeper and better and it helped her open up her lungs and solved all our problems with, uh, with her health issues. There's always hope. You never know what's going to happen in the future. There's always medical research, there's always changes that can happen. We're trying to take a group of people who maybe 10 or 20 years ago would have been doomed to have very little quality of life and we're enabling them to live their lives fully today with thanks to this technology. So, Technology is everything, that's what enables everything to happen. For me as a nurse, every life is special. I think that all people, they have the right to, to live their lives, even if they need ventilators, even if they can't breathe by themselves. Her uh, condition is a progressive condition that she will get worse. Um, as she grows, she'll, she'll get weaker and she will probably have to use the ventilator um, more. We're just grateful to have Ed and she's such a happy kid. She's, you know, you don't know what you're gonna get in this life, so we just, you know, continue. And, you know, she's, the time we have with her is great. So, and we love her. <laughs>